stay down there. I pull him up off, off the bottom just a little bit until he wants to go back down. I don't know what it is. I didn't say it. It's a rain, rainbow. It's a bow. It's a nice it's a bow. bow. Dude. Keep pressure on him, Dad. He's all right. As long as you okay. got a little bit of purchase on your rod, you're in good shape. I'm just gonna wear him out a little bit. When you, uh, by the first or second time, you can get him up to the surface without him taking off. Like I said, don't overclamp down on it. You know, just, just imagine your fingertip with five pounds of pressure on it. Back drag him a little bit. I don't want to. I want to anchor up on this side and let this place cool down. And uh, I want to rig up some dries and uh, see if we can't uh, get some surface action here. drop anchor we're gonna work this dude yep perfect decides to make another run like I said if he goes around the boat or something like that a little bit more pressure on him I want him to know he's hooked he's gonna run again let him run I mean, you might get three good runs out of them, you know what I mean? Maybe even four. And then what you want to do is steer them back this way a little bit, up this, the other way, right? Change your rod angle. Because, I mean, if he gets out in that current, it's going to be a different story. That's a great fish. Okay, keep dragging them back this way. We're going to have arm cramps by the time this is over. Oh, he's got a hand cramp. That's good. <laughs> That's what we're after. <laughs> Pull him in. We got his head on the surface. He, you know, he's pretty much ours now. Great fish. Look, they're popping the surface already. Keep, let's see if you can't keep them up the top. Right. One feeding right next to the fish. I know. That's what, that, he's probably helping, getting them pumped up. Yeah, we got it. He's ours. He's ours. Nice boat, Pop. Uh, that's a great white river rainbow there. I'm going to put you in. 